Okay guys, we are back with another Criterion Blu-ray DVD 4K video. And as you can see, we are in the newly revamped movies, music, and TV section at my local uh, Barnes & Noble. Uh, gone is the entire uh, back room, which I guess is uh, back here. So they completely remodeled it. And um, here's our movie section. And here is uh, our Criterion sale going on 50% off. So, you know, one of my favorite movies here, Mulholland Drive, uh, I already have this on Blu-ray. So I do have this edition. Um, I don't know if it came to 4K. Uh, and if it did, I probably, probably would pass on it. You know, kind of like Menace to Society. I know there's a, you know, here's the 4K edition and um, I already have this on a, a standalone Blu-ray. You know, the same with Days and Confuse. One of my favorite movies of all, all time, if not my favorite, but um, I have the original DVD and the Blu-ray. Packaging is still the same. So I just, uh, you know, passed on it. But as you can see here, it's, um, if I could just focus, it's uh, $49.99 and then 50% uh, off will be uh, 25 plus tax. So I know there is something on my mind and it's right here. Le Circle Rogue. And this should be a 4K edition. I know I've seen this once. I can't really uh, tell you what it's about right off the bat. But it's a master ambiguous introspective crime cinema. So, you know, I'm always about that um, gritty, grimy, uh, slow... Uh, crime gangster films and um, I, re I remember uh, this one always being on my mind so if I'm gonna buy something today it's definitely going to be this one um, I know that this is a new edition too we got differences here here is like, I guess the blu-ray edition uh, no cover or anything and then here is the 4k which comes in a little slip case here here's another one that I do have um I think a Kino Lorber edition of that so I'll probably just, you know, there's a, there's a lot that I'm going to pass on, especially uh, something like this, Irishman. But I'll tell you what I do want to add to the collection eventually is maybe, um, well, I know I have this on digital, but um, this, is, this is a good one too. Uh, a famous story of uh, wanting, uh, wanting to kill her husband for the, uh, for the insurance claim. So it's a, a classic movie right there. This one I need to see. I need to catch up some, uh, uh, some Wes Anderson you know, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Darjeeling Limited, um, Asteroid City. I didn't really enjoy that, but I do enjoy his movies. Uh, Miller's Crossing is another one from the Coen Brothers that um, I kind of need to um, watch this, catch up on it. But Michael Haneke trilogy, you know, I enjoy this uh, director a lot. I enjoy um, The White Ribbon, Das Wies Band. And Benny's video is actually really good, really disturbing. Uh, if you like, you know, funny games... I don't know if I could find uh, funny games around here, but if you've seen funny games, then you should definitely um, watch a Benny's video. I know I saw that on HBO Max. Pretty disturbing movie right there. And then, you know, we just missed uh, Pride Month. We're at the first day of July, but uh, Paris is burning. Um, you know, kind of, I, I believe it's a, yeah, the drag ball scene. So, you know, kind of one of these early uh, drag queen underground drag show uh, movies. I need to add this to the collection too, and this is a 4K of Shaft, okay? And I do have um, the Warner Archives of uh, Shaft in Africa, Shaft's Big Score, and I've been holding off on this one. So um, this one I, I really would like to add to the collection too. You know, you get that classic soundtrack of Isaac Hayes, and also this one does include uh, Shaft's Big Score on Blu-ray. So that's um, that's actually a really good... Uh, thing to have kind of like a double feature there here's uh, another one of my favorite movies of all time Sofia Coppola's The Virgin Suicides sounds like you got a lo loose disc of, uh, in there you know I already have this like the original DVD and I have the Criterion Blu-ray so you know just another one of these uh, things that I'm not gonna double triple dip on uh, I know Thelma and Louise was just uh, released I have seen this movie, but I'm always thinking about the uh, Simpsons episode. You know, real friends stick together and they're kind of referencing the whole movie uh, throughout that episode. So you might want to check that out when uh, Marge becomes friends with her neighbor and they go on a little uh, crime spree together, I guess. So it definitely looks like a lot is uh, missing here. You know, you only got 
one little section here and it kind of ends down there you know um here are some tv shows so we could check out uh some other stuff that they have here and you know there's always um the vinyls at barnes and noble okay and we got um we got a few ones that i didn't uh see here is that this is a new release uh triangle of sadness i didn't really enjoy this movie too much but it's highly regarded didn't care for it uh this one is kind of like a love hate inland empire it's just like a eraser head that um it's kind of like a chore to watch and then when you're done watching it you kind of want to watch it again so um yeah i might eventually add inland empire uh blu-ray to the collection um one movie i found really overrated besides um the irishman and uh, the power of the dog this one um it was nominated for best picture but a, a big snooze um now this one i still have on vhs which is um olivia hussey and the other guy romeo and juliet and i know that they just i guess shot down a ruling that it was indeed not uh you know child pornography they were they were talking about because i guess she was underage and did a nude scene here so it was all in the name of art um up here i see buck and the preacher which is a uh, sydney poitier and uh, Har harry belafonte so this is one of those sydney poitier uh westerns now this one i definitely would love to add to the collection is coolie high so if you love those films like you know american graffiti animal house fast times at ridgemont high you gotta watch coolie high in it excellent soundtrack you know featuring all those like motown hits so eventually i'll have to add this to the collection and i think this might be um a new release too crash uh david cronenberg's crash but i've never been into cronenberg you know he's into that body horror stuff so never saw this one um but here right next to it is another you know uh highly controversial russian i think russian war film come and see and this will be cool to catch up on Lars von Trier's Europe trilogy you know um, Melancholia is definitely one of my favorite movies and then I guess he also did a uh, Antichrist oh yeah and um, Nymphomaniac and then uh, The House That Jack Built I really enjoy all those movies even though they're intense and disturbing so I've never seen any of these though we'll have to uh, catch up on that eventually and um I don't think I've seen this either. The Last Waltz, the Martin Scorsese uh, concert movie. This one I enjoyed very, very much. The Night of the Hunter. And I know that uh, if you've seen Promising Young Woman, they show like a, a clip of this. So, um, yeah, Shelley Winters, I think it's killed off pretty early. And then these kids are just um, running away from this guy that, that killed her mother. I believe that's kind of what the movie is about. Um, yeah, re really enjoyed this one. If you like those film noir definitely gonna want to check out night of the hunter uh, this is another overrated one for me uh parasite i kind of remember this one i'm surprised it, it came to the criterion collection uh pariah i think this is another one of those uh, lgbt um movies here's uh i already have this and you know john waters john waters collection um targets is another one i know this is a john frankenheimer Okay, it has Boris Karloff. I was wondering, um, you know, I have seen this movie before, but I, I don't know if I, oh, it's Peter Bogdanovich. Sorry, not, um, whatever other guy I said, John Frankenheimer. I'm confusing another movie. Uh, yeah, I've seen this a few times, but it doesn't really hit me, but I know it's just highly regarded. Also, I see here, uh, Raging Bull. This one I'll definitely add to the collection eventually. Got, um, 4K here. And, uh, you know, since I saw Boogie Nights first, you know, I saw Boogie Nights early in my life, so when I finally saw Raging Bull, I, I realized that the ending in Boogie Nights references uh, the ending to Raging Bull. So, that was always interesting to me. Um, I don't know if this is one of those um, Asian-like horror... No, it's 102 minutes. I, saw, I think I saw Kwaidan. That one was um, really good. I don't know if that I could find here. Like I say, there's um, a lot missing here, so if you have something on your mind, you're definitely going to have to uh, buy it online. Okay, why don't we check out uh, some of the other movies here. It looks like they got more regular movies than they do uh, Criterions. So, you know, if you can't find any stuff at Best Buy, you could just uh, hop on over to Barnes & Noble. You know, you'll 
uh, more than likely find uh, a slip cover maybe not for banshees of Inisherin, but like armageddon time i don't think i ever saw this um in a store anywhere even though this movie was crap i saw it it's not good Ooh, but it's too bad they don't have the silence of the lambs on criterion here because that one i really want to add to the collection because i know that there's a good commentary on it but like for instance you got you know the slip cover for both of them the blu-ray and the dvd except dvd is going for 19.99 there so you definitely want to be careful but look you got 30 percent off of megan comes with a slip cover and it's also uh 29.99 and um this one too women women talking here you got a blu-ray and a dvd didn't see the movie didn't want to see the movie but um it's cool that you got um got the disc right here and also the whale um did see this movie i don't i don't think i've been seeing this in stores but i think this is a dvd right here but still comes with a slip and i don't know is this the shout factory or screen Factory? oh it's a steel book too and yes, it is uh, from Scream Factory. So you might... Oh, this is a, a pretty new release too. The Jake Chillenhall Guy Ritchie. Um, the Covenant. So, there is some cool things here. And, uh, you know, you also got um, the vinyls. And, you know, the CDs. And we even got Avatar. Blu-ray. I don't think we got uh, 4K, but I do see... The DVD up there, along with um, Sweetwater Blu-ray and DVD, and uh, got Super Mario, a DVD and Blu-ray. Oh, and Marlo as well. Can't find this in stores, or at least at Best Buy. So, so you know. And look, all quiet on the Western Front. This is the the Netflix movie. Didn't see this. I did have the original, like the 30s film. Uh, yeah, and I haven't watched this either. It's like over three hours, and it's in German, so yeah, I've gotta gotta make time for that one. Yeah, this one sucked, even though this one's over three hours as well. Trash, trash. I remember liking um, well, it, it was good for a one-time watch. It's kind of like um, you know, it, it's hard to sit through, but I like Kate Blanchett. Uh, this one was good too. See, all the ones that I can't find at Best Buy, or maybe they were at Best Buy, and then they, now they just uh, move them over here. Living. This is um, this is a remake of the Akira Kurosawa uh, film. Um, it, it, both of them I didn't really enjoy uh, that much. Got spoiler alert. Eyes wide shut. This one sucked too. She said. Oh, but this is one of my favorite movies here. The Girl on the Train with Emily Blunt. If you like a good Lifetime movie, this one is really good. And Justin Theroux is in this as well. And then uh, way up here, I see the Sunny Chiba. Yeah, they used to have like a little arrow uh, section, even though this is Shout. Um, can't find the arrow section here. So things have changed at your local Barnes & Noble. And I actually forgot to go over, considered uh, the greatest movie of all time. Jeannie Dielman, 23. Brussels. Yeah, the boringest movie ever made. If you just want to see someone uh, wash dishes and uh, sit at the dinner table, three hours of that. This is for you. Okay, I did find some other uh, 4Ks here, including uh, Casablanca with a slip. Uh, play it again, Sam. And also a Kino Lorber sealed in decent proposal on 4K. Okay, I found the 45th anniversary edition Saturday Night Fever 4K with a slip and um speaking of sofia coppola i'm, I'm getting excited of the priscilla uh movie because i just saw the teaser and it reminded me a lot of uh marie antoinette so i'm looking forward to that um i haven't i, I, I may have seen tree of life uh, i think this is the brad pitt one yes um but i like i, I like terrence malick but um I, yeah i haven't added that to the collection you know, I have, have a few others. Knight of Cups. Thin Red Line. Okay, everyone. I am back from my Barnes & Noble trip. And as you can see, there have been some changes at this location. Uh, funny enough, there's a location that is going to be brand new opening up. to uh, Closer to me than the location I just went to. So it's going to be interesting uh, what a new uh, Barnes & Noble location looks like because the last few times I've gone in, you know, uh, I've been seeing that they've been remodeling the movie section. And as you can see, they got rid of it entirely. 
and it's all it's like mixed in with the the movies and music is just a little corner now as opposed to a whole section how it it used to be but uh, these are the changes that we are going through and also they didn't have a lot of criterions there there wasn't an arrow section so there are changes but I did pick something up so I'm ready to show you and I picked up Le Circle Rouge the red circle so I'll read it back here. Alan Delon plays a master thief fresh out of prison who crosses paths with a notorious escapee and an alcoholic ex-cop. The unlikely trio plot a heist against impossible odds until a relentless inspector and their own past seal their fates. So like I said, I have seen this once and there's like another one, Les Samurai. I think that's an Italian film and this is a French film. So I remember enjoying uh, this one whenever I saw it. So I can't wait to rewatch it. And uh, some of the special features here included uncut version. Okay, um, segments from a 1971 episode, cineastas, interviews, onset archival footage, plus essays. All right, so my Criterion Edition here. And as you can see, there's plenty of others I want to add to collection. Raging Bull, the Michael Haneke. So lots of stuff. Uh, the Ice Storm with Elijah Wood and Christina Ricci. I know that one's on my mind a lot. So guys, get over to your Barnes & Noble online or your local brick and mortar store for the whole month. Go grab your half of Criteria. And guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Tap that notification bell. Let me know down below what you grabbed at your Barnes & Noble for the Criterion sale. And I'll see you next time.